हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू द पावर पॉइंट प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ फिजिक्स क्लास नाइन्थ टूडेज टॉपिक इज न्यूटन्स लॉज ऑफ मोशन न्यूटन्स लॉ लॉज ऑफ मोशन न्यूटन हैज गिवन थ्री लॉज टू डिफाइन द मोशन ऑफ बॉडीज दीज लॉज आर फर्स्ट लॉ इज न्यूटन फर्स्ट लॉ इज ऑल्सो नैन एज लॉ ऑफ इनर्सिया अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस लॉ अ बॉडी एट रेस्ट विल रिमेन इन रेस्ट एंड अ बॉडी इन मोशन विल कंटिन्यू इन मोशन इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन विच इन फॉर्म ए स्पीड अनलेस इट इज कंपल्ड बाई an external force to change its state of rest or in motion dear students we can say that a body remains in rest or in motion in a straight line until an external force is applied on it we can say that and we can take examples to understand about this law if a book kept on the tables will remain on the table until an external force is applied on it to understand about this law we can understand by this figure the marble speeds up rolling down the ramp and in second case the marble slows down rolling up the ramp and in third the marble will neither slow down nor speed up rolling on a perfectly horizontal surface according to this picture the inertia of the coin tries to maintain its state of rest even when the cart flows off dear students we know that first law of motion is also known as law of inertia inertia we have to in easily understands about newton's first law we come at application of newton's first law application first application is a passenger in a bus has a tendency to keep moving in a straight line inside a bus due to inertia when the bus takes turn body of passenger wants to continue moving in a straight line due to this it appears that his body bends outward whenever we travel in bus our body bends outwards due to inertia and when we hit a carpet it loses inertia of rest and moves but the dust in retains inertia of rest and is left behind thus the dust and carpet are separated dust from carpet separated again this is due to inertia and when it is shaken fruits breaks off in this case fruit breaks off from the tree occur because due to inertia all these things happens due to inertia newton's first law is also known as law of inertia in this figure fruits breaks off from the tree it is happening due to inertia of rest again to understand about first law we come in next examples of this when a car breaks suddenly a man bends forwards violently again it is happening due to inertia all the things which happens by inertia comes in first law of motion because first law of motion is also known as law of inertia a man may collide with parts of car hurting himself seat belts will not let the man bend forward and thus save them from accident this is the example of that and again this is happening due to inertia when the car stops luggage on the top of the car 
has the tendency to move forward. Therefore, luggage is tight on the rope. Now, we will come at Newton's second law. Newton's second law is related to momentum. Momentum means product of mass and velocity. According to this law, we can easily explain this. Rate of change of linear momentum is always directly proportional to force applied on it. Directly proportional means if we increase force, momentum will increase and if we decrease force, momentum will also decrease. And all the things, all the figures which are related to momentum means mass and velocity. If we increase mass, momentum will increase and if we decrease mass, momentum of the body will decrease. And in the case of velocity, if we increase velocity, momentum will also increase. And if we decrease velocity, then momentum will also decrease. According to second law of motion, we can a new formula of force that is force is equal to mass into acceleration. SI unit of force is Newton. Dear students, with the help of this, we can explain what is 1 Newton. 1 Newton is defined as amount that produces an acceleration of 1 meter per second square in an object of mass 1 kg. That is 1 Newton. Application of second law. To understand about this, when we stop ball gradually, we need to apply less force. This is easy and safe. If we stop the ball suddenly, we need to apply larger force, which is difficult and also injure our hands. And in case of high jump, athletes pause change of velocity in less time. If surface is hard, large force acts on his body due to which he may get injured. If surface are soft, athletes body changes velocity in more time and less force act on his body, which is safe. Now we come at Newton's third law. Newton's third law is also known as action reaction law. Whenever one body exerts a force on another body, the second body exert an equal and opposite force to the body or to every action there is always equal and opposite reaction. This law is also known as action reaction law and we can easily explain this law. Every action there is always equal and opposite reaction. Example of this law is walking, swimming, in case of swimming we push water in backward direction by our hands and water pushes our body in forward direction. It means in this case action reaction law is applying. And when gun applies force and bullet due to which it moves ahead by Newton's third law, bullet will also apply same force on gun in backward direction. Due to this force, gun moves back. This is called recoil of gun. Gun moves back only by small amount due to its heavy mass. Walking is example of Newton's third law. And man pushes the boat backward and by Newton's third law, boat pushes man forward direction. Dear students, I hope you all have understood about these laws. You have to study about these laws at your home and try to under understand these laws by taking daily usage examples. In our next video, we will discuss about linear conservation momentum. So try to understand all these laws and we will meet at next video. Thank you.